everybody, welcome back to Northern Lamb. Checks out the Track Mania track of the day. Yesterday, fun track, long track, did pretty well. Good times, bad times, you know we've had our share. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. It's just it's a song you hear on classic rock radio now and then. It, it might be a Canadian one, so if, if that's the case, I apologize. Hold on, they're querying the server. The carrier pigeon has left Vancouver. It is headed to Trackmania's central servers. It's fly there's a there's a headwind, unfortunately. It's holding us back a little bit. It's taking some time for the data packets to be received and forwarded. There we go. How did we do yesterday? Let's look at the region. We did get the author medal. We, oh, top 10. Top 10 in British Columbia yesterday. Nothing wrong with that. Top 115 in the egg carton. Good lord. I've heard today's track is more of a full speed Marty. And is also on the shorter side. So prepare yourself. We may well have... That doesn't mean it's going to be a shorter video. <laughs> it might just mean that we're able to min-max the track a little bit more. But of course, if we're... If we're able to min-max the track a little bit more, everybody's able to min-max the track a little bit more. If everybody's able to min-max the track a little bit more, the level of competition is not necessarily decreased. Okay, alright. <laughs> we're learning. You gotta myelinate those sheaths. Okay, alright. Hold on. I mean, we can see the exit. It's right there. There you go. There you go. You've made it. Just trying to follow along. Oh my god. Okay, maybe you have to go over the loop? Maybe you have to go over the loop on that one? Because, like, this is fine. This is no problem. Then maybe you do, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Um, it's a little bit disorienting. <laughs> this strikes me as one of those tracks that's like, if you have motion sickness, well, I just apologize. I get a little bit of motion sickness, but if you're not familiar with motion sickness, the weird thing about it is that uh, it sucks. But also, when you're driving, it doesn't bother you as much. Oh, you gotta, yeah, yeah, okay. When you're a passenger, like, I mean, my motion sickness gets aggravated by a lot of things. Heat, over-caffeination, um, but definitely also, like... I mean, the, the smell of an automobile on the inside, I know it sounds weird, but like a, a hot car that has cloth interiors smells horrible to me and actually makes me a little nauseous. Hot car with leather interiors, I guess my inner ear is just a little bit of a snob. It's like, ah, it's not the most pleasant smell in the world, but it could be worse. But then the number one thing is like when people drive by hitting the throttle to the maximum and then braking as hard as they can at the last possible safe moment. Blech. Okay, here we go. We're unraveling the needle. We're threading the needle if we could just... If we could stick to the Tony Hawk there, that'd be okay. Of course, reading while you're a passenger in the car. I mean, or if you're a driver, probably, but... Ill-advised for other reasons. Also triggers it pretty badly. Starting here, maybe you can take. There's gotta be a moment in this loop where you can just kind of grip it and rip it. The only question is, well, there's a couple of questions. The angle at which you enter the the loop, or the the bend, rather, the speed at which you enter the bend, and then the time at which you start to take the turn. The earlier you take the turn, the lower you're gonna be on the ramp. The later you take the turn depending on your angle. The higher you're gonna be on the ramp. If you go too low, you fall off the bottom. If you go too late, you fall off the top. It's that simple. By which I mean, it's really not simple at all. But once we get it, I think maybe we got it. This is why they have that protective netting up there. They get that protective netting up there so that uh, the cars don't go flying into the stands. That happens in NASCAR, right? Not not cars flying into the stands, but don't they have like a chain link fence that goes like 30 feet high just in case? I thought that was the case. 
I mean, in, in NHL hockey games, except for this year because there's no fans, but, um, and that's not a joke about the NHL's uh, enduring lack of popularity in uh, overseas markets, including the United States, which is not overseas, but the Great Lakes are quite large. Um, there, was a, there was a case where like a fan got hit by an errant puck and actually died back in like maybe 2001. So they installed that protective netting. Doesn't stop you from getting a heart attack when you see the, the Marion Gabryk slap shot coming at your head. But it does stop you from uh, <laughs> maybe suffering actual injury as a result. Do you see that, that turbo there scared me a little bit? I was like, what's going on with that? Oh, no, I think it's just the earlier entry point on the loop. Let's not even bother looking for shortcuts and sneaky stuff right now. Good, good turns, dude. Whoa! You can still stay full speed through there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... What? Were we supposed to get air off of that? I think... I, I, hold on, this track's throwing me for a, for a loop. I was actually gonna say for a lizard. I think we should do checkpoint restarts. For now, whenever we screw that up. That way we can practice this. Held it. Stay on target. <laughs> Stay... Oh, no. Okay, well, that one's never going anywhere. So remember, if you live through the loop of despair, your next step is you want to either be on the right or the left. Let's go left. Ah! We actually crossed through the checkpoint while sliding. <laughs> this is one where I'm actually like, maybe we should turn on the ghosts. I I'm confident we can get to the end. But if we turn on the ghost, it might uh, shortcut a little bit of time for us. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. Might illuminate for us where we should go a little bit faster than if we were just trying to figure it out for ourselves. Inevitably, if we do this enough, we'll figure it out. I don't mind this so far. I think it just requires a trick. Maybe the trick is just being good. That's fine. I mean, I, it's not fine, but... We can make it. Now here, this is the question, dude. Are you trying to... Do you really have to come down through that? Because, like, it doesn't make sense for us to bounce off the wall there. How on earth are you supposed to do this? It's like you gotta stay full speed. I'm trying to figure out, are we... This is like the most annoying level from an audio standpoint I think I've ever experienced. Now, this, that's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, and then you... All right, well, that's that's not going to win us any speed prizes here. All right, this is like, this is a really tough one. Also, not as short as I thought it was. I thought this was like 20 seconds long. Although, I guess maybe it actually is because we, uh, we did so many restart from checkpoints. I hear myself. I hear myself. Okay, good, good. Pivot. Good pivots. Getting a lot better at that. That's okay, just keep it going. Just keep it going. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is a... This course is kind of a nightmare. How do we want to hit this? I'm thinking, like, go up on the curve. The pivot left fast enough to at least finish the track. Okay, that's got to be, like, a bronze. That's no metal. But we're top 36 in Canada. <laughs> it's been live for an hour. We're top 36 of the country with that? Well, that should tell you something. We got, we got a little bit of a tougher course today. Um, with no metal whatsoever, which is, is truly a staggering feat. Okay. Good. This, this part we're starting to get. This one doesn't feel right. 
But uh, I think, we're, what are we at here? 10 minutes into the video? Hey, we completed it with checkpoints. I'll, I'll take that as the small victory that it is for now. Anytime you play a track like this, you gotta think to yourself, like, the, the major positive of this situation is that so many people are gonna be like, nah, screw this. <laughs> that in terms of just like raw placement, if we persevere, we have a good chance. And I don't blame you, because like a lot of people are gonna love this track because it's fast and it's kind of zany, right? But a lot of people who are just like, I just wanna race, like me. If they're not recording or streaming, they're like, I don't wanna waste my time on this on this pseudo meme track. And honestly, I understand your your reasoning completely there. But it, what it does do is open the door for a fool like me to rank better than usual. Now we're gonna go left, hold left. Oh my god! <laughs> we were 13 seconds ahead of our PB. But that's that's cause for celebration. It's a cause celebra. Because we have proven that we can actually do this and of course it was gonna happen inevitably there's only it, this is not like the Nurburgring Nordsch life you know it's not a seven minute lap it's a 20 second lap all you gotta do is get the elements right if you get the elements right you complete the course doesn't have to be perfect just have to finish hold left oh I think at this point we don't need the we don't need the checkpoint restarts because it's literally like the final obstacle. And the ramp. The ramp is just. Look, if there's not one moment in every track mania video where I go, oh, I could have had like a gold medal there or even an author medal, except for the fact that I screwed up on one obstacle I never screw up on, then the video it has no reason to exist. If we don't have one of those per video, then then what am I here for? You can't just have thrills. Sometimes you gotta have chills, too. Left. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Gold medal. Not an author medal, but a gold medal. I can certainly live with this. I <laughs> have moved us up, like, six positions. Okay. Can we do better than that? Yeah, I mean, that was fine. But really, that's our first lap where we've completed it without uh, hitting a wall or something of the ilk. So I definitely think there is a way, and I, I hate to say it, but I actually think the way forward for us to save like a second is to, uh, is probably on that last big loop. There's a summer track that has a loop like that. Um, and it just like, it, it it makes physics sense to me when people explain it to me. But when I'm just driving by feel, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I think we'll try another another few laps. Um, another few laps with no ghosts. Then we'll turn on the ghosts. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how the mood strikes us down there. That's okay. So I think it's really here. I think this is where your money gets made and lost. All right, let, let's change opponents. Let's put on opponents from North America. We're already on a continental level here, which is it's pretty cool. You always got to look at the names. Make sure the names are okay. <laughs> so we're dead center right here. Lost a little bit there, but that's no biggie. This part, I, I wouldn't say we're perfect, but I think we got, you know, most of the time we got the basic principle down. Left, right, doesn't appear to matter too much. Okay. That, see, that will haunt me till the end of my days. But it, it seems like these, uh, these drivers have basically the same principles that I do. But it's nice, you know, just having those principles reaffirmed is helpful. Now, like, oh, not, not taking half measures and knowing that I actually don't go high on the ramp in all likelihood. At least to compete with these guys. Um, which, yeah, honestly, might be the default. I mean, we're, we're, 
don't make fun of them. They're, this is the best we got in North America. I understand on the egg server we got like the world's best drivers, but you know, uh, yeah. As far as North America goes, I mean, have you ever seen any North American dash cam videos? It's pandemonium over here. People don't use their signal lights because they think if you use your signal light, someone will take the spot where you want to go. You know what the, the worst part is? Sometimes they're right. I hate to admit it because I think you should use your signal light in every situation. Like, I use my signal light when I pull out of my garage. That's, that's how much of a, of a lawful, good driver I am. Not gonna say I never make mistakes while I'm driving. All I'm gonna say is I, I endeavor to never be lazy about it and to always give it the care it deserves. I signal in, like, all situations. Oh, okay, that, that was closer. Um, I hate to say it. But sometimes people are right. There are jerks out there. If you signal and you're like, I want to change lanes, they'll be like, nope. I can only entertain myself by being rude to other people. And that just enables another level of jerkery. I don't know if, if people that are driving realize it, but like... I think there's a high percentage of jerks on the road. But I think that the jerks are self-propagating. When you encounter a jerk driver, it makes you more likely to drive like a jerk in the future. Which makes you more likely to create more jerky drivers in the future. Like, everybody's making it worse for everybody else. It's the honest... is my honest-to-goodness opinion. I was gonna say it's the honest-to-goodness truth. But I can't back that up. <laughs> I can't necessarily back that up. So actually, we, we have no idea right now where we stand in BC. I always know in Canada we're going to be like rooting for the top 100. In North America, it's a little bit of a crapshoot. Let's go. Let's go. Just hold it here. You got a great chance. Author? Not an author medal? What do you want from me? Top 23 in Canada? Keep it moving, boys. Keep it moving. Um, but really, I, BC is how I gauge myself. If I'm in like the top 10-ish BC, somewhere between like, you know, top 10, top 20, I feel like I did good. So now, I, I never thought I would get here. We're actually closing in on min-max territory. So stuff like that is going to very soon become unacceptable. So I think, what, how do we min-max? I think we always want to start a little higher on this so that we're turning our wheels less when we get moving down. Then here, I don't know. I honestly thought we gripped it and ripped it pretty well here last time. A, a shallower turn. That was, we were gaining some speed there. I mean, we're going to be, look at all these times. They're within like two seconds, but to be honest, like Sandor. That's, that's probably not a time you're too proud of. You're probably working on that one as we speak. So, I, I wouldn't worry about that too much. What I would worry about is, you know, everybody here is very close. You got a ticket to the lottery. As long as you can stay up near the front there, you got a ticket to the lottery. You don't have to be in first, necessarily, to get an improvement. There you go. Just slight turning. That seemed like maybe one of our better exits there, but it would have been nice to not bounce too much. <laughs> I'm actually a little surprised that like nine minutes in, we had no completions. 19 minutes in, we're like, I mean, I guess it's a small, it's a very short track, you know? It's like Apollo Ono's um, home rink. He's a short track speed skater. <laughs> that's, the, that's the joke. No, my it got the rear wheel drive model. I'm pretty sure in Track Mania all the cars are <laughs> all the cars are all wheel drive. <laughs> Otherwise, some of the some of the turns they make don't seem too likely with a rear wheel drive car. Not to say they don't handle well, they just handle differently. 
We're not driving a Chevy Stingray here. Took that turn way late. Compensated! We beat ourselves by 180th of a second. <laughs> And it was all like, I mean, this is the kind of track for sure. One mistake changes the game. Like, this isn't like trying to get a 4.0 GPA. This is like trying to be the valedictorian. You know, if you're just trying to get a 4.0 GPA, if you get a B on an assignment, big whoop. You know, you got plenty of time to make it up. If you get a, an A- minus and you on a ninth grade math test, and you want to be valedictorian, I'm sorry to tell you, Tim the student doesn't make mistakes. He's got an A++ on every single assignment. So you gotta be, you gotta be dialed in or you gotta adjust your expectations. There's two options for that. There's two options. Either one can, can be acceptable, I think. Good speed. Very, very good speed. Didn't screw that one up too badly. I, I hit the wall at the end. I skidded, uh, skidded against the wall. <laughs> oh, and they did it again. You go back, Jack. Do it again. Chat, how do you figure out what the author medal is? If I have one complaint about Trackmania... I have two complaints about Trackmania. One is, I know you can toggle the names of the ghosts off. That That is a, a good step, for sure. I should do it. In fact, maybe I'll do it right now. It's just Tilda, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I still, you, without being rude, I don't necessarily want to race against uh, the egg carton right off the bat. Or 20 minutes in. As if that's right off the bat. Um, because there's just so many ghosts that it's like... It's rough. It's it's just hard to see, quite frankly. Um, so thank you for that tip. The other thing is that I find it really hard to know what the author medal is. It, well, I mean, it's it's not really hard. It's like impossible, right? We're not gonna make this one. At least not with record time. But just getting some practice on that was nice. So what, what have I learned? Well, I mean, we, we just screwed up the start of the course. A little. The secondary thing I would say... Is... Take this next corner tighter than you think you gotta. Oh, not that one. I think I gotta institute my left corner... Uh, in that, in that tunnel there a little faster. See, this is like, a, so far, perfect entrance. Not a perfect entrance any longer. That's okay. I'm hip. I'm with it. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. It seems like we're hanging okay. There you go. Just a little adjustment early. Look at the speed that that gives you. You enter that, that loop a little bit more on the right side. We take this heavy left. I had to adjust. Dude. <laughs> I was too far left, I wasn't going to be able to make it. Okay, so somewhere in between that and where we where we were at earlier. This is alright, this is still good practice. I've actually come to like this track quite a lot. Um, which might be a little surprising based on uh, my my historical preference for levels. But no, I think this level is uh, I think this level's totally fine. Dare I suggest, even uh, even enjoyable. Perfectly cromulent meme track. <clears throat> yeah, wouldn't wouldn't recommend anything about that line. That's okay. We're hanging in there. That was actually perfect. The problem is perfection is so close to oblivion. I lost confidence. <laughs> you could put that as your high school yearbook quote. I die. Don't put that as your high school yearbook quote, unless you did, in which case. My condolences. Now, screw. Keep it moving. Good. Good adjustment. You gave yourself a little right impulse. We're hanging with the rest of the squad. You gotta be able to make it through the gate, and then that's where we make up our time. 
ladies and gentlemen. Definitely dead at the end of that level. However, <laughs> a market improvement just to make it through the wickets. All right, top 19 Canada. Originally, like, well, even a couple of minutes ago, I was like, dude, we could just honestly finish this video. Like, I don't know how much better I'm going to get here. But now I'm like, no, no, no. Because this might be an opportunity for us to, to rank better than we've ever ranked. Now, admittedly, it's 11 a.m. 11.30 a.m., quite frankly. So just, you know, don't disrespect me. But still, just feels nice to see those rankings, right? Did we, I think we did enough. Oh, we didn't do enough and then I lost confidence. What are you doing? <laughs> Do we need new ghosts? I don't know. We haven't beaten the top ghost here, right? Now that's what I'm talking about. Good impulse. Oh, over the top. I don't mean impulse as in like an urge, by the way. Because I am a scholar. I mean it in the physics sense of the word, where an impulse is a change in your momentum. Of course, your momentum is a product quite literally, of your velocity and your mass. As everybody knows. But you can also change the vector of it. Is that my PB? Dude, that was my PB. My PB crushed it there. Look at that. Look at that. Straight on till morning like a Blues Traveler album. A little bit up on the wall. A little bit up on the wall. A little bit left on the wall. A little bit left on the wall. Tight to the wickets. Stay heavy left. No! <laughs> we were in there too. We were in there. Alright, well I'll tell you, after doing those laps there, I think it is going to be pretty hard for us to pull extra time off this. Originally I thought it might be a little bit easier. Wheels seemed okay there. I can't believe we're still on. Now there's our PB. Our PB is not messing around. Good melange of speed, direction, proper positioning. This is one where, like, if I check the egg carton, and I see that there are people who have, like, a 22 second time, I'm going to start asking questions. I'm going to start to be like, uh, excuse me, when did Lewis Hamilton join the egg carton? Uh, excuse me, when did Charles Leclerc join the egg carton? Uh, excuse me, when did Keanu Reeves as John Wick join the egg carton? I don't know if he can drive well in real life. Maybe yes, maybe no. I've seen the, the footage of him at the gun range practicing for the Wick movies. I wouldn't want to meet him on the range. Probably unlikely considering I've never been to one. On the highway, I got no idea. I'd probably give him a leg up over me. Mostly because he's had, uh, you know, another 30 years to, to get good at it. Grip it. I would consider that gripped and ripped. <laughs> now there's... You think you could glean another two tenths off it there if you... If you squeeze between the wall and the left pillar? Would not recommend. Anyway, I don't know why when I drive, I'm always driving like that too. Oh, I... The victor. Sorry, the Fennec. The Fennec on that wasn't quite right. That was good. That was good. Just completely botched that one. Alright. What are we doing here? Well, I mean, it took us a half hour, but we got to regression before progression. The only thing is, I don't know if there is going to be any progression. That probably cost us one and a half seconds. But you know what? Consider it gripped and ripped. No, oh, you know what? Okay. My followers, please. Thank you. Now, it usually takes 45 seconds to load this, and it flashes the screen 100 times. I apologize. 
Oh, scram, 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 scram. Okay. All right. The this is how we, you know, iron sharpens iron. Twenty-three seconds. That seems fair. I was good. Like I said, twenty-two. There was no chance. I will admit, actually, with names uh, taken off, it's definitely much easier. It is harder to see your own ghost, though. Wow. Really? On the first one, we got an author medal and whatever the heck a silver trophy means? <laughs> I'll improve. Am I... No, I'm, I'm still two tenths away from even being on the leaderboard in my own... In my own club. But still, I mean... I mean, if you ever wanted to understand the power that ghosts can have in this game... That'll do it for you right there. Way late on that one. Yeah. But dude, I mean, we're in there. We're in there. You know what I need? I need even more stratified rankings. I need to know how I rank... In North America... On the egg carton. That's where I need to be. I know we're not going to be top North America. I know we're not going to be top of the egg carton. But in a perfect world, maybe I could be top of the North American egg carton gamers when I play an hour after the daily goes live. You ever think about that? Hey man, you got to you got to have realistic dreams. Some people want to be best in the world. Some people want to be best in the city. I'm like, eh, best in an increasingly small and arbitrary subsection of categories. So we lost a ton of time there. But even still, we're, we're not back by much, but on top of that, it's nearly impossible to make up the time we've lost. But at least we're getting much more consistent at finishing the level. That felt good. So you know what I've, I've learned from watching these other great gamers? They enter that uh, the barrel roll tunnel much higher up. Yeah, like there. And then they pivot low, which might allow them to generate more speed from, like, gravity. Because gravity's, I mean, you don't need me to belabor the point on this one, I'm sure. <laughs> when you're up on the wall, Gravity is pushing you down the wall, which is enabling you to maybe generate some more acceleration than you otherwise would have. F. I for real think we've got a better lap in us, but I, I think that is the last bit of, uh, of intel that I've got. There might be a chance on this one. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I'm on another track. <laughs> oh, okay, we hung on. So we want to enter like that. Yeah, yeah, close. Maybe even taking a little right turn. F. A little right turn upon entry. Because if we can attack the... Wait, what do I mean by attack? My, by attacking, I mean getting high on the wall and then going low at the exit of the turn or the exit of the barrel roll in this case in order to maximize our uh, speed when we come out of it because we'll be accelerating by going downwards on a ramp. See, just because I'm not in the top 10 doesn't mean I don't understand like the physics principles involved for at least part of the racing games, all right? A hill, if you can go down, is always going to speed you up instead of going straight across. That's why when you're a good skier, you ski downhill. When you're a bad skier like I am, you ski across the hill, ruining everybody else's tracks, and then when they get mad at you, uh, you go, sorry, I was just trying not to die. Hey, bro, you're ruining the tracks. That's never happened to me, but it's, it's what I imagine would happen to me. Which is in some ways even worse. Marcus Aurelius. I've already weathered the 
millions of slings and arrows imagined to me. What good could a knife do? That's not a real quote, but in principle, that's kind of like part of Stoic philosophy, I suppose. Okay, you can, you can definitely make it, and then immediately... That's just tragic. 35 minutes. All right, I, I, again, I don't have a time quota on track mania. But right now, I feel like we're, we're eating a chicken wing, and there's a little bit of easy-to-obtain meat left on the bone. This one's not going to do it, but we can always get some practice, or not. Now, I'm not one of those guys who cracks open the bone and eats the marrow. But I'll, I'll chew on some gristle. And I think there's gristle to be gleaned. But once we get that, we're probably done. I mean, I, I hate to say, I mean, they're, they're different kinds of meats. But that's why I prefer a nug to a wing. I like a chicken wing. I would never turn one down. Unless I'd eaten too many. Um... The wing is like... It's complicated to eat, you know? It's not like, oh, I can't figure out how to do it, but it's like, it's just a lot of work. And like, when you, when you have a lot of work to eat like a crab leg or something, you don't feel so bad about it until you get the bill. Because it's crab. But when you're eating like chicken wing meat, you're like, I don't mind the wing meat. I think the wing meat is pretty good. But is it worth the, the amount of wet wipes you go through? Most people would say yes, I think, based on the popularity of it and the fact that it's on, like, every bar and restaurant menu in North America. We're in there. We're in there. I don't know why I keep losing sound out of my right ear. I'm assuming that's an in-game thing and not a, an in-brain thing. Oh, that's, that's a line, boys. That's a line. I, my old self just crushed it so hard in that final section. I'm like, I'm mad at myself for doing so well, which is completely irrational. Because if I did it once, I could do it again, and secondarily, it's a good thing, because it's my time to begin with. How, like, look at the speed that I'm getting! How do I... I'm losing so much there! Alright, so I think we're still losing some time on the barrel roll. I'm watching their wheels. Like, that's where I think I lose a lot. I didn't, I, like, I keep losing traction because my angle's a little too flush there. I don't know, maybe maybe there is no meat left on the chicken bone. There's calories, but I don't think there's any meat. See ya. Oh, that's a shortcut. Burp, I win. I don't want to know what that billboard said. Looked like the London 2012 logo, if you know what I mean. I don't know, there's like a, there's a weird hearing distortion tunnel in there. They're playing Mersbo. So you're going heavy, ooh. <laughs> Magnificent. Not losing touch yet, but we are losing our will to get a better time, I'll admit. So what, what do I think is the secret here? I think enter more right and then pivot like here and you'll get so much acceleration and then just don't screw up forehead. That wasn't really screwing up. We had more speed than I'm used to dealing with. If anything, we actually, in my estimation, learned a lot there. Turns out there may still be some meat left on the chicken bone. Like, that is speed. We hit the wall, which cost us a little. Um, I don't know. I mean, I really feel like I'm like a, I'm just pulling the hand on a slot machine right now. It's not called a hand, is it? It's called an arm. <laughs> They're not called the one hand bandits. Though they should be, because it rhymes. Or it's at least alliterative. I feel like we're just, we're just hoping that the next run's gonna be different. And like, 
The reels keep spinning and they're going bell, bell, cherry, bar, bar, dollar sign, seven, bar, bar. And I'm like, we're, we're due, we're due. I don't know if we're due. And we'll do one more solid attempt, and then I might accept that we're at diminishing returns levels. This could be a solid attempt. This could be a solid attempt. I hate... Three days grace. Okay. Did we clip the wall? We seem to be a little behind. Try. This is not a solid attempt. This is just an attempt. See ya. Yo, but if that worked, that would be sick, right? Anyway, how do I feel about this Trank? In, in Trank Mania review purposes, I don't think I reviewed yesterday's. Yesterday's was a lot of fun. I wasn't even thinking about my entrance to this one. That's, that can be a problem. Um, I don't know, like, yes, yesterday's is like an 8, I think this is like an 8-2. I'm, I'm not disappointed with this one, I, I think I had a great time. Um, I have less of a great time when I do things like that, but that's not the game's fault. That one rests with, uh, with yours truly and yours truly alone. Okay, there you go, you enter on the right side, now we straighten the vector out. Try not to get as much air as we usually do there. And fail miserably. Are we actually... Dude, we were there. Okay, there's a little meat left on the chicken bone. Is it is it wing meat or is it the little, you know, round cap at the end? We don't know yet. But there's something. There's something there. Okay, that's not gonna do it. I think this might be the most I've ever grinded on a track in these videos after getting the author medal. Like, that was a fast author. It was like Brandon Sanderson. This one's not gonna do it. But I'm happy, I'm happy for our exit there. That was a solid finish. I can't believe, like... People are finding another one second on this one. Or close to it. That's not like one second on one corner. You know what that is, right? Like, someone with 23.547. That's somebody that's wringing it dry. They're, they're doing an office space scam. Where they're skimming like, you know, a quarter of a tenth on every single element. And I'm, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them for it. Now this, don't... Yeah, yeah, that was a small jump, which is completely acceptable. I am upset. And everyone needs to know it, because I'm a YouTuber. Good, yeah, we go right. We go right on the Colgate toothpaste. We lost, like, no time to air there. Grip it. We're losing it, we're losing it. Wheels skidded. Wheel skidded, tiny dinky daffy, pancaked by track mania track of the day. This is my final attempt. By which I mean to say one more good one. You enter right on it. You hang right and then you get freaking pancaked. You know what song you don't hear that much anymore? Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. Boom boom boom. Does it ever blow your mind that when some people who are perhaps in our older generation talk about like, you know, they'll listen to like an arcade fire song and be like, I don't get it. Can't we just go back to the good old days of lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, lolly, lo lollipop, but um bum bum. Anyway, upvotes to the left. That's so it's solid enough. Hopefully my, my crumple zone was not solid, otherwise I'll be, you know, facing a risk of catastrophic injury. The pivot was too fast! You pivoted like Jeremy Piven pivoted his widow's peak into a full head of hair somehow. Okay. 
lost a little. I'm, st I'm starting to realize the new hotness. Like, we're almost always competitive with our PB by the time we get to the final stretch. What do we need to do? This is going to be an exception to the rule. Um, what do we need to do? It's all about the, the turns in that final section, which might sound overly reductive, but there actually is like a half second of speed difference, uh, or a half second of time difference that can be explained by speed. Let's put it that way. Based on whether or not your wheels skid right here. If your wheels skid, like they did for me right there, cancel Christmas, you're done. If your wheels don't skid, you might be okay. And really, like, on my PB, feels obvious to say this, my PB is actually the perfect run for me. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I did so well at the back section that I made up for my earlier mistakes on the front section, and now I can't recapture that... I can't recapture that magic. Or I'm, I'm struggling to recapture that magic. Still could make it. Alright, I think that's gonna do it. But that was, a, I mean, it was a good race. I had a good time. If you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. Thanks to everybody in the egg carton for making me better. I'll see you tomorrow with another one. See ya.